Okay, guys. So when you get to the point where your chalk is put in, but you haven't blended it yet, okay, notice I don't have the, the building or the city in, Roman yet. So I'm going to take my, my finger, my pinky, and I'm going to start here, and I'm going to start blending it. Now you're saying, but Mr. Caser, you're going over your city. That's okay, because I'm blending this all in together. And notice I'm not going up too high. I'm staying in the red and in the yellow right now, right? And I could actually go back in. If this isn't dark enough or it doesn't have enough color, I mean, I can always go back in and add more color. So, But when you're blending, do about two areas at a time. Like this one I'm doing red and yellow, and it, what's it making? Orange. orange in there. Well, there's some orange in there anyway, but... Okay, see how it's starting to blend together? Okay, like in the, the picture. All right, we'll add more later even, but then, you're gonna, then you'd go back in, and with your yellow and your blue, see how it's blending all that together too now? So I did just those two areas, and then I'm gonna go down here and do the same thing at the bottom. Now, when I'm done with this, you might want to take another clean finger and just go all the way across, okay? Because guys, when you purposely mix colors like this together, it's called blending. When you, by accident, uh, blend something, it's called the smudge. So that's the difference between a smudge and blending. A smudge is an accident, a blend is on purpose. Now, to make the city, see how the city looks really dark, but it's not black in all the colors. You can see there's reds in there too. So I, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my red first, and I'm gonna go over the entire city Okay, and I'm going around the outline I have in there, and there's even some air, some over here, and you'll, you'll, right now it just looks like I'm coloring in red, but you'll see it'll make sense here in a minute. So I go over the whole thing with red, and I'm going to show you how to make black or a blackish looking color without actually using black, because... If you use the color black sometimes by itself, it looks really flat, okay? So there's my red. Now I'm going to go over top of my red with a dark green. And see how dark that already is getting, right? So when I blend all this together, that red and that green is going to blend Okay. Now, I'll just stick with the larger area here so I don't take up too much time. Now, I'm going to go over the over the green with a dark purple. Okay? And you can see now when I start to blend all this stuff, I'm going to be mixing all these colors together. And then I might even go back over it with red again. But watch what happens when I mix it now. See how it's like a blackish color now? Okay. Now, I can even take this super dark purple again and go back over it. So you're layering color. Say layering colors. You're going like you're, when you put on, you layer your clothes in the winter to stay warm. Get the idea? Now watch. And I can bump this up into this area that's white. 
And then to make the reflection in the water, watch what I do. I just pull it down into the water. See that? So that's a that's a easier way to make the reflection. You might have to blow the chalk off every once in a while. And, and if it gets too if it gets too uh, blurry at the top, okay, you can always take your chalk and kind of outline it again to, so you can see it better to do things like that, okay? But that's how you add black without, or make an area look black without adding black. Now, if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of black, but just a few lines. Don't go over the whole thing, but see how dark that got really fast? Okay, and then maybe add the red, because remember when we looked at it, there was red in it. Okay. Okay, and there you go. So that's, that's a, a blending technique for you.